So you mentioned you before that you didn't want to be one of those statistics. Why does that statistic exist? I guess because you lose your dream job, right? Well, well, the statistic happens because guys don't have a plan or structure for what to do with the rest of their life. And there's other factors as well. The number one factor in players having to declare a bankruptcy is divorce, you know, and that's because the players have been used to having a job, having a purpose, having a reason for getting up, and they go do that in the NFL. When you're out of the NFL, you don't have that structure. There's no one telling you where to go, where to be, when to practice, when to eat. You know, you don't have that. So then they end up being a little bit of a sometimes state of depression, state of anxiety. And what do they do? They come home and they try to bring that same attitude, depending upon who the player is, of running the household the way sometimes they were running things playing football. And I've talked to a few former players' wives and asked them, they said a lot of them said kind of the same thing, that some players are just really hard to live with because without football, the mm -hmm. identity is gone. And then they sometimes feel that the player becomes another child. And then they feel that they're taking care of their children, their family, the household, then their husband who doesn't have a purpose. And because of that, there's a disconnect at times, things can go awry, and then unfortunately, divorce happens. And there's a high, I think I saw, I think the statistic is within three years of retirement, like between 70 to 75% of African American football players, NFL retired players get divorced. It's not just the NFL. It's it's also in the NHL too. Sure, I, I know that other sports go through the same thing, and it's it, it's the divorces, all of that. Yeah, it's it's uh, and it, and if left unchecked, that pain can fester for a long time. Absolutely, it can. So, you know, for me, I went through the same process. You know, after all that, April two thousand thirteen to September two thousand thirteen, it was really hard. And I worked a couple of different jobs, got fired from jobs, and had to become an entrepreneur. And, you know, my, my wife gave me basically an ultimatum, like, hey, Marcus, you know, you need to get up off this couch, take one day to sulk in being fired from two jobs in the same week, and then start back up again. And that's what got me going, because without her saying that, Debbie, I don't know if I would have had the drive or the inspiration to actually get to make a change. Bonnie sounds like your superhero. She's the one that... Saved, saved she, you from the, she, she, she saved you up from the ashes. <laughs> she saved me from myself and allowed yeah. me to rise out of the ashes. Very well said.